The Tucson is one of the best-selling compact SUV in the United States with over 1 million units sold since its introduction back in 2004. Likewise, Kia Sportage is also one of the best-selling models for the company and a fierce competitor in the compact SUV segment. Both Hyundai and Kia are giving their respective compact SUVs a complete revamp inside and out including an all-new engine choice that will give all other competitors run for their money for the model year 2022. So, as vehicles from the related companies that share the same platform and mechanicals, which do you choose? What are the differences and the similarities? We will explore all aspects of two of the most popular compact SUVs in the market that will sure to make a big impact when they are released. FYI, the latest fourth-generation Hyundai Tucson has already been launched and most of the details have been revealed, while the fifth-generation Kia Sportage has not been officially launched yet. So, the information on the Sportage may be a bit sketchy at this point when compared to that of Hyundai Tucson. Both models will be available for sale in 2021 with the Tucson expected to arrive in the spring and the Sportage later in the year. In this issue of AutoVision, the leading Korean car news channel, we will compare these two excellent newcomers to the market in 10 different areas so that our viewers can make an informed purchasing decision. 10. Exterior. Kia's approach was always a little off the wall when it came to the execution of the design with sharper lines and more aggressive design cues when compared to its sibling Hyundai Tucson. And the tradition is expected to continue for the latest iteration of Sportage. However, that's not to say that Hyundai Tucson will be boring in design, in fact, it's just the opposite. Unlike Tucson's of the past, the all-new fourth-generation Tucson departed from its more traditional yet handsome SUV design to one that features bold lines and innovative design themes that were never applied to conservatively styled Tucson of the old. Based on the Vision T concept that shocked the world with its futuristic and sleek design, the all-new Tucson replicates the show car almost to the T for the production model. The standout design element is the jewel-like front grille which houses the LED daytime running lights and turn signals that appear completely hidden when the SUV is turned off. The design also features bulging fenders and a sleek coupe-like roofline. In contrast, Sportage features sharper and edgier lines with a more upright SUV profile with the integrated Tiger Nose grille housed with a headlamp assembly that features a unique Z-shaped LED strip now characterizes the latest Kia models such as the Kia K5. And like the K5, Sportage will feature similarly designed rear lamp assembly and powerful creases and accent lines. Verdict. Sportage will feature edgier body lines and rather eccentric front fascia, whereas the Tucson will feature a smooth, round organic design with an innovative front end. 9. Interior. Not only the exterior but also the interior will be changed completely to match the new design for both models. The Tucson's interior follows a simple, minimalistic design but it's a perfect representation of what a future car may look like in modern times. The interior of the Sportage has not been revealed yet but the futuristic design theme would be applied as well by looking at some of the spy photos, albeit being more complex in the design details. Both Sportage and Tucson interiors will feature an 8-inch central infotainment touchscreen in the standard version, and for the high-end variants, a 10.25-inch display will be utilized as well as the same 10.25-inch screen being used for the digital driver's information cluster. All versions support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Another good thing about both Hyundai and Kia interior is that although the controls are fully digitized, there are also plenty of physical buttons as well as the capacitive touch buttons. For interior customization, 64-color ambient lighting is available. Verdict both Sportage and Tucson are very futuristic in their interior design, but Sportage design is somewhat more complex and polarizing. 8. Engine. Both Sportage and Tucson feature a 2.5-liter inline four-cylinder engine as standard. This engine is naturally aspirated and produces 187 horsepower and 178 pounds to foot of torque, which is more than decent for a compact SUV. An 8-speed automatic transmission sends the output to the front wheel. All-wheel drive is available as an option. Compared to the previous generation, the engine specs show a leap for the standard engine as it now puts out 26 horsepower and 28 pounds to foot more than the previous 2.0-liter four-cylinder base unit. The fuel economy of 28 miles per gallon is also an improvement of 3 miles per gallon over the previous base model. Verdict Sportage and Tucson will both offer the same base engine with adequate power. 7. Hybrid Options for the first time, both Sportage and Tucson will be receiving the full hybrid models. And on top of that, there will be two different hybrid variants. First up is the traditional hybrid, which pairs a turbocharged 1.6-liter inline-four with a 44.2-kilowatt electric motor, 
and a 1.49 kilowatt hour battery pack for a total output of 226 horsepower and 258 pounds to foot. All wheel drive is standard, and the hybrid uses a six speed automatic transmission. The hybrid is expected to be 30% more fuel efficient than the base gas engine, and it's estimated to have a range of over 500 miles. Then there's the plug in hybrid model which uses the same 1.6 liter turbo engine but has a more powerful 66.9 kilowatt electric motor and a larger 13.8 kilowatt hour battery pack to produce a total of 261 horsepower. It also comes standard with an all wheel drive and uses the same six speed auto as the regular hybrid. The plug in hybrid models will have an electric range of around 28 miles and a two hour recharge time using a level two charger. The fuel economy is expected to be around 70 miles per gallon. Verdict. As far as the hybrid power options go, both Sportage and Tucson are identical. 6. Pure electric model. In addition to standard hybrid and plug-in hybrid models available to both Sportage and Tucson, only Sportage will be receiving a pure electric model. This electric model will be called eSportage and it's mainly being developed for the European market but there is a possibility for release in the North American market as well. The details are rather sketchy at this moment but it's expected to be positioned above Kia subcompact e Nero, but under the upcoming dedicated electric SUV called Kia CV, which will be based on the Hyundai Motor Group's eGMP dedicated EV platform. The expected range is about 310 miles or 500 km on a single charge with 80% of the charge achieved in less than 20 minutes through its 800 volts architecture. Verdict If you are looking for a proper SUV with a pure electric powertrain, the eSportage will be one of the best choices around. 5. Features and Technology For the previous generation of Hyundai Tucson and Kia Sportage, only a couple of driving modes such as Eco and Sport were available, which limited vehicle functionality in different circumstances. However, for the upcoming all-new models both Hyundai and Kia add new driving modes to the 2022 Sportage and Tucson. Smart, Eco, Comfort, and Sport are available as driving modes, and in all-wheel drive models, drivers can also choose snow, sand, and mud. In addition to the new drive modes, the hybrid models of Sportage and Tucson receive the e-handling capability, which is a variant of a torque vectoring system, achieved by modulating the power from the electric motor. On corner entry and turn-in, the electric motor applies precise incremental braking force to the front wheels, while on corner exit, the motor sends more torque to the rear wheels. This system provides better traction, stability, and steering response, as well as making the Sportage and Tucson more fun to drive. For both models, a bunch of safety features come standard too. Every model receives automatic emergency braking with cyclist and pedestrian detection, automatic high beams, lane keeping assist, and a rear seat occupant alert. Higher trim levels will receive adaptive cruise with stop and go, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic assist, and safe exit warning. The top trim will get you a 360-degree camera system, blind spot cameras, front and rear parking sensors, and lane centering for the adaptive cruise. Also, the top trim models will be receiving the company's famous Smart Park feature from the Super Bowl commercial fame. Already debuted on a model such as Hyundai Sonata, Smart Park is controlled from the key fob or phone app and allows the vehicle to remotely drive forward or backward at low speeds. This helps when parking in a tight space or just to show off to your friends and scare strangers passing by. Verdict. Both Sportage and Tucson will come jam-packed with the latest technology features for safety and convenience. Check for trim levels and pricing to choose the best models if you want the fancier technology. 4. Performance Variant. Although Tucson will not be getting the pure electric variant, it will get a high-performance model instead. Blessed with Hyundai's high-performance and treatment, the Tucson N-Line will feature a 290-300 horsepower 2.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine borrowed from Sonata N-Line. This powerful engine will be mated to the company's latest 8-speed wet dual-clutch transmission and will send power to all four wheels. Fitted with the usual performance improvements such as louder exhausts, bigger brakes, sports interior, and more pronounced body cladding, this compact SUV is expected to be one of the fastest end car yet. Verdict. If you crave more power and sports car like handing in a compact SUV, choose the Tucson N-Line. 3. Size and Dimensions Like Tucson, which will be available globally in long and short wheelbase models, Sportage will also be available in two different lengths. Furthermore, the long wheelbase model is expected to be a seven-passenger model. For that reason, it's likely that the long wheelbase model is only available in certain special markets such as Brazil, China, and India, where there are demands for compact cars with seven passenger capacity. 
This means that the rest of the world, including North America, will only be getting the shorter version. If that's the case, this could clearly differentiate Sportage and Tucson, as Tucson will only be sold as a long wheelbase model in North America with a short wheelbase model going primarily to Europe. In comparison, compared with the European and Mexican models 105.5-inch wheelbase, the North American Tucson stretches 108.5 inches versus the previous models 105.1 inches. The Sportage's dimensions for the long and short versions should be similar. Sportage's shorter and lighter body would be a choice for people looking for a more compact and nimbler SUV, versus Tucson's roomier interior being a standout feature for people that are looking for maximum capacity in a compact SUV. Verdict Choose Sportage for nimble and better handling characteristics, and Tucson for a roomier SUV. 2. Price Traditionally, Kia Sportage has been slightly cheaper than Tucson with better trim packaging for features and options. However, Hyundai's resale value has been better than that of Kia's. In the case of Sportage versus Tucson, Sportage's residual is 50% after 5 years of ownership while Tucson's residual is 2% higher at 52%. The expected price for Sportage is $25,000, and $26,000 for Tucson. Both models should top out at around $35,000 with the SX trim for Kia and the N-Line for Tucson. Verdict, take Sportage for the lower purchase price, and Tucson for better resale value in the long run. 1. Warranty In the compact SUV market, only one rival offers as much warranty coverage as the Tucson, and that's its corporate twin, the Kia Sportage. The Hyundai still holds an advantage over the Kia in this area, though, thanks to its generous complimentary scheduled maintenance program that covers for 3 years or 36,000 miles. Both Sportage and Tucson offer a limited warranty that covers 5 years or 60,000 miles, and a powertrain warranty that covers 10 years or 100,000 miles. Verdict Both Sportage and Tucson offer the industry's best warranty but only Hyundai offers the complimentary scheduled maintenance program. The Final Verdict you can't go wrong with either of the compact SUVs that are bound to be the class leading in the highly competitive compact SUV segment that includes Honda CRV, Toyota RAV4, and VW Tiguan. Choose Tucson if you prefer a longer and roomier car with a more agreeable exterior design. Choose Sportage for its lower price, compact body with more agile driving characteristics. For those wanting a pure electric model, the E Sportage would be the way to go. If high performance is your top priority, the Tucson N line would be the way to go with close to 300 horsepower on board. Thank you for watching AutoVision. Your likes and subscriptions will very much be appreciated. We make it our policy to respond to all of your comments, suggestions, and questions, so don't hesitate to leave us your thoughts. See you next time, when we bring you the latest Korean auto news. Trying to go the other way